This is a demonstration of a self-treatment method for that pattern, which is named ilium downslip. Uh, we can discuss the controversy elsewhere. Uh, the definition is in my book and it's in my writings, other writings and uh, in other YouTube examples. So this is just really quick just to show an alternate self-treatment method. So uh, the correct angle is approximately 20 degrees of adduction of the right hip for treating the right side. And so <clears throat> I'm going to scoot down to the wall and my knee is straight. But I'm going to scoot down a little bit closer, so you'll see that it requires my knee being bent. Now I'm going to scoot my body over to the right, okay, so that that right hip is crossed over past the midline to the left, which is formally called a deduction. Now, as I straighten out my knee, I feel as though the wall is pushing up through the hip, and therefore, there is a vertical force that approximates being parallel or in line with the shape of the sacroiliac in the frontal plane. I'm talking about the average shape, not all of the different interpretations. Okay. And of course, uh, hopefully your clinician has evaluated you to find out which is the ideal angle. Once in a while, anatomical variation requires a different angle. The way that I would treat the opposite side is certainly very similar. So I would just just pretend my foot was against the wall, the chair is in my way. Very similarly, I would approximate this 15 degree or so of a deduction on the left. Okay. So I use this this wall to change the camera angle. Hang on one moment. All right, I'm back. So then to treat the left side, I want to adduct the left hip at about 15 degree angle, and I scoot up so that my knee is slightly bent, so that I'm laying down, and as I straighten out it creates a vertical force into the foot, ankle, knee, hip, ilium, and I stay with this for three to five minutes, okay? It should be a once and done correction if that is the singular pattern undergoes permutations as you start to interact it, so a very skilled clinician should be able to evaluate that process. And um, I hope that this is informative. Please read the disclosure on the uh, introduction to the video. Thank you.